Yeah, hello, this is chemistry faculty Trivedi from Evans Academy. Today we are going to discuss in Telangana MZ what are the topics from where sure short questions will come. Of them, there are as the chemistry subject is vast, it is covering from first year to second year. We will pick up some important topics from where definite questions can be expected. One such topic is from our basic concepts in chemistry. I will write it on the board so that you can also from basic concepts. As the name suggests, the basic concepts, it starts right from the very basic, like substances have been classified into pure and impure. Accordingly, they have been classified into pure and impure substances. These pure substances are again classified into these pure substances are divided into elements and compounds. These elements are further classified into atoms and from the compounds we will come down into molecules. So when compounds are broken down, you are going to get molecules. When elements are broken down, they come into atoms. Atoms, they will have atomic weights and molecules, they will have molecular weight. So from here, atomic weights, our main topic is atomic weight, molecular weight and equivalent weight. From the equivalent weights, you can expect one sure short question. Okay. So we are before entering into the equivalent weight, you should have a little bit idea about atomic molecular and equal. So our concept is atomic weight which is related to molecular weight. Once you know the molecular weight, you can able to calculate equivalent weight. All the three are interlinked. Atomic weight is just in other words, we can also say it as atomic mass, right? So this atomic weight is a relative term. When we say the carbon atomic or relative atomic weight, so it is in relation with C12, Isotope means how many times a given element is heavier or lighter than the carbon 12, C12 isotope. So that is why atomic weight is always a relative property and atomic weight is just a number. So let us say when we say nitrogen, it is atomic number is 7 and atomic weight is 40. So 14 is a just number. So atomic weight when expressed, it is expressed in grams. So that becomes gram atomic weight. So similarly, oxygen equals to 16. Okay, fluorine equals to 18. These are the atomic weights and they are the relative atomic weights. Now coming to molecular weight, it is the sum of atomic weights of all atoms present in a given molecule. So molecular weight is nothing but sum of atomic weights. For example, when we say sum means we have to add it, it is the additive property. Let us take the example as H2O molecule. The atomic weight of hydrogen is 1 and the number of hydrogen atoms are 2. Atomic weight of oxygen is 
16. Therefore, the molecular weight of the water molecule comes to 18. So, molecular weight is also a pure number. It is also expressed in terms of grams. Okay. So, whenever this molecular weight is expressed in terms of grams, it is called gram molecular weight. So, this is 18 grams. When we are saying 18 grams, it becomes gram molecular weight. Always remember 1 g mw gram molecular weight of any substance is equal is called is equal to 1 mole and 1 mole is equals to Avogadro number which is represented as Na and it is equal to 6.02 into 10 to the power of 23 molecules or particles. So, 1 gmw of any substance is equal to 1 mole and 1 mole of any substance contain Avogadro number of particles and that Avogadro number is 6.02 into 10 to the power of 23 number of particles. It can be particles means it can be atoms, it can be molecules, it can be ions, it can be electrons, it can be anything. So, 1 mole of any substance contains Avogadro number of particles. And it is also equals to 1 mole of any substance occupies 22.4 liters of volume. This is called molar volume. It is generally represented as Vm. So, 1 mole of any gas occupies 22.4 liters of volume which is in, in other words called as molar volume. Now, as you have just well versed with the concept of atomic weight and molecular weight, our main interest is from atomic weight and molecular weight no direct question will be asked, but without knowing the atomic weights and molecular weights, you cannot able to solve equivalent weights. In order to do the equivalent weight, you have to know their molecular weights and their atomic weight. So, atomic weight is the basic property. In any competitive exam, you can expect a problem based on equivalent weight. It is not just limited to M set. In any competition, this concept is very, very important. So, as we know, substances have been again classified into various types like they can be classified into acids, they can be classified into bases, they can be classified into salts, they can be classified into oxidizing agents, they can be classified into reducing agents. So, substances have been mainly basically classified into these types, acids, bases, salts, oxidizing agents and reducing agents. So, OA is nothing but oxidizing agent, RA is nothing but reducing agent. Now, let us know how to calculate the equivalent weight of these substances one by one. Let us see. In order to calculate the equivalent weight of acids, so equivalent weight of acids. So, it is represented as E acid is equal to molecular weight of acid divided by acids will have basicity. Basicity means number of H plus ions given by an acid. So, with this formula, you can able to calculate the equivalent weight of a acid. For example, let us take one or two examples how to calculate the equivalent weight of this any acid. Let us take a simple acid like HCl. So, the atomic weight of HCl, hydrogen is 1, chlorine is 35.5, total molecular weight of the HCl acid comes to 36.5. If we want to calculate the equivalent weight of HCl acid, it is equal to 36.5 is the molar weight of acid 
HCl acid, it is divided by basicity of the HCl acid. So basicity is basically the number of H plus ions given as it contains only one H plus ion, its basicity is 1. Therefore, its equivalent weight comes to 36.5. Let us take another acid which is also called the king of chemicals like H2SO4. In this, the molecular weight of H2SO4 comes to like we have to calculate the molecular weight. That's why we have taken the concept of atomic weight and molecular weights. First, we have to calculate the molecular weight of the H2SO4. In order to calculate, you have to sum the atomic weight of all the atoms which are present in the H2SO4 acid. So, hydrogen atomic weight is 1, number of hydrogen atoms are 2, plus the atomic weight of sulfur is 32, plus oxygen 16 into 4, which comes to 98. The sum of 32, 16 into 4, plus 2 gives 98. That is the molar mass of H2SO4 acid. Now, if we want to calculate the equivalent mass of H2SO4 acid, here 98 divided by 2. Number of H, H plus ions given by the H2SO4 acid is 2. Therefore, it has to be divided by 2. So, your answer may be either 98 by 2 or which comes to 49. Like this, you have to calculate the equivalent weight of acid. The second one is equivalent weight of base. So, it is given as E base, which is equal to molecular weight of base. Bases will have acidity. Acids will have basicity and bases will have acidity. So, acidity is nothing but number of OH minus ions given by a base. Let us do take a simple example and try to calculate the equivalent weight of a base. Like let us take the first simple example is NaOH, sodium hydroxide, which is in general called as caustic soda. So, the atomic weight of sodium is 23, oxygen is 16, plus hydrogen is 1, 17 plus 23, which comes to 40. So, if we want to calculate the equivalent weight of NaOH, so number of OH minus ions given by NaOH base is only 1, therefore it is 40 by 1 which comes to again 40. Now let us see another take KOH, potassium hydroxide. The atomic weight of potassium is 39, oxygen is 16 plus 1, 17 plus 39, 56. It is also 56 by 1. So this is called the equivalent weight concept in the equivalent weight concept, among acid, bases and salts, the most important one is calculation of equivalent weight of oxidizing agent. Let us take the equivalent weight of oxidizing agent. Oxidizing agent equals to molecular weight of oxidizing agent, which helps other substances to undergo oxidation but it itself undergoes reduction. So, it divided by number of electron gain. Gaining of electron is nothing but reduction. So, the formula to calculate the equivalent weight of oxidizing agent is molecular weight of oxidizing agent divided by number of electron gains. Let us take one very important example, how to calculate the equivalent weight of oxidizing agent. In order to calculate the equivalent weight of oxidizing agent, here you have to write oxidizing agent. Oxidizing agent is generally reduced. So it is reduced to what? Now you have to see 
change in oxidation number, then it's equivalent to weight. These are the headings you have to make first. The very important oxidizing agent every year KMNO4 equivalent weight of KMNO4 is asked every year. So this KMNO4 oxidizes in acid medium, in neutral medium, neutral medium means water, in basic medium. So KMNO4 when oxidized in acid medium it is converting into MNO, KMNO4 when undergoes oxidation in neutral medium it converts into MNO2, KMNO4 in basic medium converts to MNO4-2. This is how they are getting converted into MNO, MNO2 and MNO4-2. Now here you have to know first what is the oxidation state of KM, MN. During the calculation of equivalent weight not only calculation part of equivalent weight comes but also you have to calculate the oxidation states. That means here there are two concepts are coming into play. You should also able to calculate the oxidation state. Then only you can able to calculate the equivalent weight of any substance. So here in order to calculate the oxidation state of Mn, first what you have to do, you should know the oxidation state of other elements like K is always plus 1, oxygen is always minus 2, minus 2 into 4 is minus 8 and this is plus 1, from plus 1, from 8 you have to remove 1, so then it comes to 7, so the oxidation state of Mn comes to plus 7. In this case, here also you have to calculate the oxidation state of Mn, O is always minus 2, so Mn will become plus 2. From plus 7, it is converted to plus 2. So now how many electrons gain? Total 5 electrons gain. The change in oxidation state is how much? 5. Now here again you have to calculate the molar mass of KMnO4. So like this, this type of question appears in M set. And this is this one, this question. Oxidation state question is one of the sure short question. One more question will be asked. Another sure short question comes from hybridization. That topic we will take up in our next session.